The Open Controller comes with an integrated web server, via which you can access the CPU directly without needing to install Step 7. You can access the module, user software, or diagnostics data of the CPU and change the operating state via any web browser using a web client, a PC, a smartphone, or a tablet. A highly selective user administration allows you to assign access rights to specific users. You have two options for accessing the web server, via X1, the Profinet interface, or via X2, the Windows interface. If you choose the Windows interface, you will have to enable a port in the firewall first, via which communication will take place. This would generally be port 80, but this port is already in use by Windows and port 81 is preset for the CPU. If you choose the Profinet interface, you will still be able to access the CPU after a Windows restart or if Windows no longer functions correctly. Let's take a look at the user interface of the web server. We open Internet Explorer and create a connection with the X1 interface of the web server. We skip the introduction page and can now see the operating state of the CPU on the default page. But we can't do any settings. If we want to do more than just look at the operating state, we will have to change the settings of the software controller in user administration in the section Properties. We switch over to the TIA portal and open the Properties section of the software controller in the section Web Server User Administration. Here we create a new user, whom we will call Operator. Assign all available rights from the Rights column. Confirm the assignment by setting this little green check mark here at the bottom. And assign a password for the user. That too we confirm with a little green check mark. We now select the PC station and load the changed configuration to the device. Once the download is completed, we go back to Internet Explorer and reload the page. We then log in as the new user, the operator, on the website. And we'll see a navigation column on the left with all available functions. On the right of the page, we now have the additional option of changing the operating mode of the CPU.